Uh, who are you? Hey, hey, mister! Oh my god, that overbite. That's not human! What is that? The, it, it's head's like that, and its nose is just sticking up. That's not a human! Layton, you wouldn't be that polite. You wouldn't be like, oh, I'm, are you addressing me? You'd be like, what the hell are you? Ugh! Ugh. <laughs> of course I am! Was that your highest class gallery airship that just crash landed in the lake and made the water away? I don't know why I'm giving a Russian voice. <sighs> Our ship did land in the lake, but it is a small red aircraft. What? So the big steel zeppelin isn't yours then? Well, that's rubbish. I was hoping you'd give me a tour. Well, now, I'll admit the other airship is quite imposing, but the Bostonis is lighter and a great deal more maneuverable. Like, you're not trying to sell it to him. <laughs> really? Wow. To be honest, I'd be chuffed to go in any airship. Hey, you seem like the perceptive type. Could you give us a hand? We're looking for a girl. Long hair, unusual manner. Sometimes destroys all machinery in a ten mile radius. <laughs> ah, sure, I saw her earlier. She was heading towards the station. Excellent, thanks. Press it, let's go. And I guess we have a new thingy. Wait a minute, can we go back to the uh, the uh, the boss the boss Tony? Uh, where am I going? Uh, back, back, out. No, that's not exit button. Ah, close. <laughs> Uh, right, yeah, it's the shoe to go to the map, right? Can I, like, go back to... Fremberg? Can I go back to Fremberg, Mr... Mr. Butler? Ah, they found you! Wait, no, no, Scottish. Ah, they found you! It's a great relief to see you in the lad in good health, Professor! Unfortunately, we lost sight of the girl. You haven't seen her, have you, Raymond? I'm afraid not. She hasn't been here. Oh, my word, she didn't all land together then. Oh, well, the young lady is no doubt feeling dazed after a long sleep, so I doubt she's gone far. Perhaps you could try the town. Meanwhile, I should do a thorough check of the ship. The equipment's trying to give us odd readings if we made a little impromptu landing here. Alright, well, I guess we can't use the Bostonians at the moment. Uh, that's probably going to be our, like, super transport thing, though, later on in the game. Let's just head to the new area. Interestingly, this guy doesn't actually even mention the uh, the dragonfly. Professor, look! What? Oh, hey, it's Rook. <laughs> bah! Lost him. I'm sure they landed right here, though. Hey, Rook, what you looking so moody for? Oh, it's you. I thought we left you behind in Fromberg. Ha, I'm just some sort of clown to you, aren't I, Rook? Wait, how did he get here? I left you know I single-handedly held back those brain boxes and still made in time for the last helicopter. You should have seen it. Glorious it was, the way they cringed and trembled in front of me. Uh, yeah, I don't remember much of that. I do remember there was a puzzle involved. <laughs> I do, like, maybe the cringing might have come from my viewers as they watched me solve the puzzle, I don't know. That's, that's all I can possibly imagine. Well, those cringing, trembling brain boxes of yours managed to snatch a girl back, you knucklehead. Well, 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 head! Well, we, we didn't really do a very good job of that either, but... Lucky for you, they landed somewhere nearby. Uh, knocking the microphone. Lucky for you, they landed somewhere nearby, so you still have a chance to save your bacon. Right, right, right. So we find them, and then I can redeem myself in the bastard's eyes. Exactly. And Bishop, slow down for crying out loud. More haste, less speed, okay? Well, that was random. Sounds like those men are searching for the girl, too. They haven't found her then, at least. I suppose we should be thankful for small mercies. We mustn't let this chance go to waste. It's imperative that we find the girl quickly. Come now. Yeah, I'm trying. Believe me, I'm trying. You're the, you're the other one slowing this down, guys. Who are those bozos anyway? They belong to Targent, a secret organization bent on unlocking the power of the Azran. It sounds very, very secret, guys. <laughs> that sounds rather sinister. Did you talk you remember team? the Golden Garden, the oasis you discovered in Mist Hallery? <gasps> That's a reference to the Link game. Garden of Healing. Garden of Healing. You will also recall the City of Harmony, the ruined structure which rose from the seabed around the island of Ambrosia. That's from the movie. Finally, we have the Infinite Vault, 
an extremely complex mechanism situated just outside Monte d'Or. That's the previous game! All three of these ancient sites were constructed by the Azran civilization. You're not saying there's more! The Azran must have been a remarkable people. They commanded technology far more advanced than anything we could imagine. If anyone were to claim that technology for themselves, they would have the power to rule the world. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's what Tarjid are after! Oh no, we'd best, we best stop Torchwood. The Azran's power. All three of the Azran sites I spoke of are now under Tarjan's control. Oh no, not Torchwood! What? <laughs> I don't know why I'm forcing this joke. Their examination of the Azran ruins led them straight to Froenborg, just as my own research did. Oh my god, that is, that is like the most British way you could possibly have said that. Froenborg. <laughs> Even have the like, the like, rounded R sound as well, the Froenborg. Froenborg. In comparison, my Froenberg just isn't good enough anymore. <laughs> but none of us could have imagined what we'd find there. That girl is the key to it all. The key to the Azran legacy. Oh my god, that's like the name of the game or something. I see. In that case, it is absolutely crucial that we not let Tarjan find her. Quite. So let us move swiftly. Uh, we, gotta stop, we gotta stop Torchwood. <sighs> Torchwood's fairly easy to stop, though. They're a terrible secret organisation. Uh, we have updates. Uh, the Uniformed Men turn out to be members of Torchwood, a secret organisation that seeks to harness the power of the Azran. They have already taken control of the Garden of Healing, the City of Harmony, and the Infinite Vault. It appears Torchwood's massive airship came down in Call of Duty around the same time as the Bostonius landed. Despite the rich history, so little is known about the Azran that they are considered something of a phantom civilization. Professor Sycamore is one of the few who is knowledgeable on the subject, yet he is something of an enigma himself. No one has a deeper knowledge of the Azran than Professor Sycamore. He also seems to have, have a bone to pick with Torchwood. Alrighty. Well, that's good. <laughs> and now, that, now the talking is over. Now we shall get back to the tapping. Yes. Uh, right. Hit coins. Uh, hunt for hit coins. Oh my god. <laughs> there always seems to be on, on like chimneys and stuff. Is there one there? I don't know. It's just a station square clock. Fine. I'm, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get ahead, ahead of the uh, the guide here. I'll like. I'll like read one and then I'll just start tapping around. The only. Uh, Problem with that is there is a very large chance of uh, actually accidentally tapping things. Uh, the <laughs> okay, the guide says the white next to some staircase in the distance. Really helpful. Who are you? Tee hoo hoo! Hello, my dear sirs. Are you looking for something by any chance? Propriety dictates that I assist you. I think. Are you the same girl as someone we met in um, in uh, in Freudberg. That's funny, that. <laughs> my, my library of voices doesn't extend that far. But first, I am not sure. I am sure you have not just yourselves without my coming to rescue and dazzle and distress him. I suppose. If you've just got a puzzle for us, 40 picker out. Oh my god, this is going to be a difficult one. Number 13, Pretty Paper Petals. You decided to sell your friend a garish. a garish flower. Nice adjective. From a number of red, blue, yellow, and purple pieces, you want it to be a little different, so you've decided no two. Basically, it's the four colour thingy. Oh, I can do the four colour thingy. Such a nice one, Scratching to the same state. I can do the four colour thingy. Uh, basically, it's just like this, isn't it? Uh, yeah, those aren't touching. Let's make that one blue. Like. The thing is, I've always thought about these. Okay, that's not going to work. Maybe make that one yellow. I've always thought about these that you kind of. It's needlessly difficult to bother trying to uh, do it, quote unquote, legitimately. And you might as well really just do it kind of trial and error <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's possible to do it legitimately. I just uh, don't feel that it's like. A particularly sensible use of time. Okay, maybe, maybe in this instance it might be. <laughs> so, wait, uh, which ones can I change? I'm not entirely sure anymore. Oh no, that's not going to work because of that one, uh, which needs to be purple, which makes that one yellow, which makes that one um, something else, I guess. <laughs> no, that's got that's got to be red, I think. So let's make that one yellow. 
This could take a while, guys, because basically I'm just going to keep tapping here until I find a solution, because that's how I always solve these things. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I used to be like, I, I used to have like a membership on um, some site that did pulls and like something like this was a fairly, uh, okay, wait, wait, wait let's, I'm just going to restart. So I'm pretty sure something like this was a fairly common, uh, like, puzzle that it gave. Uh, and I always used to love solving them, but I never really found a, like, a way to do it. I just kind of kept tapping stuff like, idly until, uh, until a solution just kind of came to me. Actually, I think I might have just stumbled across the, like, the way to do this, because this is... This is quite obviously a way arranged in a way that you can only do it one way. <laughs> So yeah, that's got to be red, because all these ones that I've filled in so far have been literally, you have no choice, it has to be this colour. <laughs> oh well, I suppose, I suppose, like, I suppose it's a later game, you know, they got to, they got to, like, uh, not spoon feed it, but like, they basically got to give you a, a strong idea of what the solution's going to be. Uh, wait, wait, I need, uh, I need, I need, I need. How are we going to do the last bits? That one's got to be yellow. That one's got to be red. What if I just messed up that one? And that's got to be blue. And there we go. Here's my answer. Yeah, okay. So I guess speed up not required. Is the key to success. Yeah, everyone that they gave us just kind of hinted towards the actual solution. No real flower is quite so colourful, it has to be said. It'll be so obviously fake, and she's gonna hate you forever. New dress up quest, which we can't even do anything of yet. <laughs> Great. Ha oh, ha, oh, look at that! You did quite the turn on that puzzle, did you not? So how may I assist you? We're looking for one of our party, a young lady with a rather otherworldly appearance. Have you seen anyone go by? A oh, girl? No, I don't think so. I've been here for a little while now, and nobody at all is has come by. Be sad yourself, of course, good sir. Hang on a minute, Professor! Do you think maybe that boy got the wrong person? As in, he thought it was this girl here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh well. You, you've, you're not, you're not, you weren't frozen in ice for several million years, were you? Well, oh, that's a pity. Then that means that our girl was never even hit the station. Perhaps. But you may as well see what information we can gather while we're here. Well, like, the only description we actually gave was, like, the girl. So I can quite understand why uh, why there would be a problem in communication here. Who are you? What have we here then? Oh my god, he's not human either. That no that nose is the size of Leighton's head. Just to put that into perspective. <laughs> okay, the ears I can kind of foresee normal size, the eyes normal size, the nose and the chin? are both equally as big as Leighton's head. Why are some of these people not human? All I do like is heart. I want a heart like that. What have we here then? I hear some chatty about a dandy and a fancy hat. That must be you, eh? Oh, you think it's fancy? Well, thanks a lot. That's, yeah. Well, you're a nice guy. You're a nice guy, Moose. Moose? <laughs> what a weird name. Oh, where did you hear about the professor? Someone ball came by asking after. How'd he put it? His most crisp coloured friend whose hat soars to greet the sky. <laughs> Can confirm. Has his hat tall enough to reach sky. He's gone off to the sta station. You'll find him on the platform, no doubt. But I advise you to look carefully. Look carefully? Ah, you mean if we zoom in on the station? No, Emmy. I mean you should go there and have a look. God, what's, what's wrong with you? Seriously? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. <sighs> I'm not sure. It's Aldous! Oh, I, I know I know him. Are there any hit coins here? Uh, maybe. We got ourselves a locomotive wheel. Uh... Oh, look at the train. I got to get a photograph of this. Aldous, you've already taught us about uh, hit coins and zooming, like moving your head close to the object. What, what else? What else could you possibly have to teach us? Oh, to think that I would find you here, my excellent gentleman friend. 
Our paths are surely strides of the same thread. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. So this is the odd, uh, the person who is looking for you, Professor. Absolutely! Incontestably! Just as the squirrel must seek the acorn, it behooves me to see you. But first I must tell you how honored I am to witness you making such eager use of the zooming skills I taught you. Well, it's, it's, it's less that and more the fact that if we hadn't made use of the zooming skills, then we wouldn't actually be able to progress through the game. <laughs> but yeah, you know, whatever. Thank you, Aldous. What was it you wanted to talk to me about? Ah yes, of course. Well, my friend, I find myself most fortuitously in possession of information that might interest you. You may have noticed that when you move the magnifying glass around, the objects occasionally give a sort of little... poof. Whenever you notice such a poof, even if the magnifying glass is not orange, take heart and investigate with vigor. For it means that a weird and wonderful curio may be within your grasp. Now then, if you please, I ask you to slide your magnifying glass over the locomotive's chimney and examine it closely. Okay. Hey, it's poofing! It's poofing at me! And it's making a little whip sound. Familiar relief. Splendid for us work! That, my friends, is a choice item for your newbound collection. On your travels far and wide, you will come across all manner of junks, antique scraps, and fascinating little gems. You must hold all these little bits and bobs in the mini chest of fortune I have been guarding for you here. Bit by bit, bob by bob, you shall build a personal collection to rival those of the most dedicated explorers. You never know where you might find something worthy of your collection, so be ever watchful for that little poof. That's homophobic. You can't just go around calling someone a little puff. <sighs> I must admit I have quite a fondness for trinkets and curios. <laughs> Layton's a hoarder! <laughs> Next episode on hoarders, Layton's horrible addiction! Taking things out of chimney st smokestacks, what the hell? Seriously. Just fuel that addiction, and Luke's just an enabler. Now this is a worthy occupation for you, fellow gentlemen. I look forward to seeing your lovingly constructed collection. For now, I must eclipse myself. I wish you many enjoyable hours hunting for elusive treasures. Thank you, Aldous. <laughs> it's always good to see you. Off he goes. He seems to have warmed up bit at least. The collection box behind the trunk. Is that a new thing? It's a new thing! Wait, is that going to be the, the, the third new thing? Like the third minigame type thing? No, wait, I think it's giving me another mini game as well, but. Well, this is sure to prove enjoyable during our travels. However, we have no time for distractions at present. We must press on and find the girl. Perhaps we'll have more luck elsewhere in time. So, what is this? No, it's not, it's not the last mini game. Oh, right, it's at the bottom. <laughs> totally didn't notice. Familiar relief! A familiar sight amongst archaeologists, this relief turns up at almost every dig. And you've just grabbed one out of a chimney smokestack. Because why not? Because because you know what? I'm latent. You know what? I do what I want. Whatever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am sincerely sorry for anybody that either read the instructions or has played the game for themselves. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs>